Hey everybody, thanks for coming to my channel. Today what we're going to do is something new and we're going to play around. We're going to make a playground and actually make a new project, 3D project, and call it Playground. That was funny. I'm going to call it Playground 4 just because I've got three others. And we're going to do this Karate Kid style. I'm going to show you several videos worth of very small things that in and of themselves aren't all that interesting but in the last video in a few videos from now we'll put them all together and you'll end up with something pretty darn cool and you'll be able to play with it in a bunch of different ways so for this first video we're gonna do wax on wax off karate kid joke right there and we're gonna make a cube that positions itself its local position slightly differently and randomly from where it started so it's set to zero 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 and if not then reset the position. And then add a component. Call it random position. And in here, one of the things that we do in almost every script is go get other components. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Private transform T. I'm going to delete these comments. Delete this entirely. And for transform t, t equals get component transform. And then we just want to set the position to a random position. So t.position equals. And here's what we could do we could do random dot inside unit sphere. But there's a couple things about that. That's going to set it to between. 0 and 1. And we don't really want that. I want it to be, for this project, between 2 and 6. So let's actually public min, public float min, public float max. Now let's look at what we get over here in the inspector when we have that script. All right, I want the min to be 2 and the max to be 6. And I'm going to set those to default values. And I don't, because I don't want it between 0 and 1, I want to do something different. I want to change this to be quite different, in fact. I want to say vector3 new position equals the current position, t.position. And then in a minute, we'll say t.position equals new position. But this will allow us to change the values in the new position. So new position dot x equals random dot range min max. New position dot y equals the same. And same with z. So t.position equals new position. Okay, that should do it. Let's see what happens now. Save, and hopefully it's just going to jump to some random position here between 2 and 6. Yeah, each of those is between 2 and 6. Let's check it again. Yeah. So I'm going to do one thing different. Instead of t.position, I'm going to do local position. Because what we really want, I want to make sure that it doesn't change the global position because later in the video series I am going to want to make it a child of something else. And so local position will allow me to just change the position, as you can see, relative to the parent transform. That's what I want. So actually, that's all I wanted to do with this video, and we could stop there. I'm going to do one more thing, though. I'm going to say public vector3 min and min vector and public vector 3 max vector instead of these min and max. And then for min vector dot dot x oops dot x and dot x 
for max vector dot x. Oh, I did that wrong, didn't I? Dot y dot z. So this needs to be y, and that needs to be z. Okay. And now let's go look and see what's in here. So this way, I can leave it in the zero position on the x and y axis, and just say 2 and 6 on the z axis, and it should only change the z axis. Yeah, good. All right, so in the next video, I'm going to show you some rotations, but they're also going to be independent, and we're going to start with a new scene, entirely new scene, so that we get all these things independently created, and then we'll move into putting them together in the last video. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.